You know, the pandemic has brought renewed focus to mental health and substance abuse and the many stigmas involved with those issues. Two local friends have proved there are many ways to take them on. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders shares their story. I gather and I collect and then I assemble. It's a storytelling process that uh, has a lot of depth. The art of Wayne Brzezinka starts at a table it ends with portraits made of tangible items. Take his Fred Rogers portrait, made from crayons, cassette tapes, things donated by the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Archives all help tell the story of a person. Ben Franklin has wires in his hair, you know, as an inventor. There are pieces of money, uh, actual money pages of books and things like that. So, so I'm fascinated by success and fascinated by human beings in general. And ultimately, Wayne hopes what he does can inspire, encourage. Now that part is something he has in common with friend Casey Hyatt here in a rather different office than Wayne's. The way Casey reaches people is through his voice sharing his story. I was raised in a world where chronic substance use was something that was so common that it didn't necessarily occur to me as that as dysfunctional. It was just after those youngest childhood years that Casey's substance and alcohol abuse began. He was only 11. He's wondered how different his teenage years could have been. I didn't graduate high school. I had literally chosen using over everything. He was 19 when his mother refused to bail him out of jail. I was facing charges for felony possession and theft. Me going into a store and stealing alcohol. And I had to sit in jail. It was a step toward recovery and toward who he is now helping people with mental health and substance abuse obstacles here at Cumberland Heights. Learning how to live clean, learning how to live sober, learning how to live happily. And helping people on that journey is what Wayne wanted to do too when he made his choice of who to cover for his latest portrait. Whoa frontman for the band Nirvana, Kurt Cobain. Where would he be today if he would have gotten help or if he would have been seen? He kept his drugs in a Tom Moore cigar box. This person of Kurt is sitting in the box. To me, it tells a bigger story of not just him, but all of us. We have um, a public side that we portray to people and we have a, a, an internal side that we keep private. Two good friends believe people who are struggling can be reached in so many ways. Maybe it's through a powerful work of art. Maybe it's through a deeply personal story. Maybe it's something else entirely. The more we talk about it, the less stigma there is. I am so incredibly grateful. I had the consequences I had. That was the motivation that I needed to find recovery to begin with. It changed my life forever. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5.